Hi everyone, I am Arun Babu. Welcome to our channel. Today our topic is Law of Parallelogram Theorem. By using Parallelogram Theorem, we can find the resultant of two concurrent forces. Law of Parallelogram Theorem. Take two concurrent forces P and Q, and the resultant is R. For example, this is parallel to P. This is parallel to Q. Mark the points A, B, C, D. Extend the AB. Draw a line from C to the B. Interesting point is E. Triangle C B E is a right angle triangle. This is theta. This is also theta. This is alpha. From figure, in right angle triangle C B E. Cos theta equal to V G by V V C. This is equal to V E equal to cos theta delta V C what Q. Sin theta equal to C E by V C. C E equal to sin theta into V C is Q in right angle triangle A E C hypotenuse R square equal to A E square plus C E square A E equal to A B plus B A B plus B C one sin theta into q whole square. A B is P. V one cos theta into q whole square. Q square sin square theta. This is in the form a plus b whole square. A square plus b square q square cos square theta. It's two a b. 2 into q into cos theta plus q square sin square theta a plus b over square q a square plus b square plus 2 a b b square plus 2 into q cos theta take q square common square square theta plus cos square theta Square plus two into cos theta into square. Sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to one. Therefore, resultant R equal to square root of the square two into q cos theta into q square plus q square. Okay, this is resultant of two concurrent forces. Then we will find angle between resultant and the force P. From triangle A E C, which is right angle triangle, tan alpha equal to C by A E. From triangle A E C, find this is right angle 
from right angle triangle a is tan alpha equal to c by a c is what c equal to q into sin theta a is ab plus b q sin theta by ab is p and b is q cos theta therefore alpha equal to tan inverse of q sin theta by p plus q cos theta this is all about this video if you like it please follow our channel and subscribe it